The Legend of the Shepherds In a bygone age of myths, when darkness threatened to enshroud the world, it was they who reclaimed light from nothingness. Over and over, as the world plunged into chaos, the legend would come to people's lips and they would pray for salvation. And lo, each time a shepherd would appear to vanquish the darkness once more. But with peace returned, it was never long before the shepherds would vanish. As for where they had gone, no one can truly say. And, as with all things, eventually they faded into legend. Now, once again, the world faced the threat of the darkness. People began to speak of the shepherds once more. But alas, no shepherd came forth to guide his people to peace. Hero brandishing the sacred blade. This mural is a depiction of the shepherd. <laughs> About time I found it. Nothing on my answer, eh? Miklio. Looks like he beat me this time. <laughs> this proves the shepherds have been around since even before the Arrow of Asgard. I knew it. Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. We still don't have definitive proof that this ruin itself is pre-Asgard. It could be an imitation. Seriously? You really think they'd make a fake ruin of this scale? Get real. This doesn't bode well. Wait, isn't that... I think our ruin adventure is over for today.
Could I get a little help, please? Saray. That didn't go quite how I planned it, but not too shabby, am I right? Guess this makes us even. Unbelievable. Who knew there'd be ruins underground? Oh, good thing we fell down here. Right. Hey, let's try and find a way out of here. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Whoa! Oh man, what a drop! It's been nothing but heights all day. But I had an awesome bar relief to distract me. Yeah, I bet you did. Hmm? It looks like someone's lying there. Hey, Miklio? Hmm? It's... it's a human. It can't be. Stop. We shouldn't involve ourselves with their kind. She's still alive. We can't just leave her there. Fine. I'll give what help I can. Let's take a look around the area first. Okay. My sword's all sticky! Cobwebs everywhere. I bet no one has set foot in here for some time. What's wrong? Shh! seen one in person before. What could a monster like a Hellion be doing in a place like this? It's getting away! Wait, don't you remember what Gramps told us? Huh? Hellions? Yep, Hellions. Horrible monsters that are created by the Malevolence. They can only be defeated by the power of purification, which not but a chosen few can use.
So if you ever cross paths with a Hellion, just run as fast as you can. Remember, you two. Common folks like us don't stand a chance against those fiends. Cut it! We can't beat a Hellion without the power of purification. Then we should just be glad we escaped it. And anyway, we have bigger problems. Hmm? We have to hurry and save that girl! Before something worse finds her! Ray. Sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. Pray we do not encounter a stronger foe.
What's this? Whoa! What the... I'll be taking this. If you get too hung up on fiddling with it, we'll never get out of here. I'll give it back once we return safely. Uh, <laughs> if you say so. But it's still so far. Think we could jump? Only one way to find out. Okay, maybe not. Hey, watch out! Don't scare me like that. Sorry about that. Well, we definitely can't make it from here. There should be a connecting point somewhere. Let's go back and see what we can find. Huh. You don't suppose... Huh? There. Take a look. Hmm? Go on. Look closer. Come on. We don't have time for this. Let's cut the fun and games, all right? Oh! Then let me explain. As you see... Ugh, forget it. Let's just go back down there. <laughs> you never could handle losing. So that's the deal. There's a uh, staircase coming up from below. <sighs> You're totally lost, aren't you? Hmm? I could have sworn. I mean, isn't there? Not even close. Look. An invisible bridge. That's better. Seems safe enough. Yeah. This bridge is incredible. How do you think it was made? I think this is beyond the capabilities of human technology. So, like, the bridge alone might date from the era of the gods? Possibly. But either way, they definitely had assistance, whether from Seraphim like me or someone else. They really didn't want anyone to reach the other side. The path ahead leads to Elysia. It stands to reason that they do what they can to protect the Pure Land. In the past, any pilgrims who showed up at the shrine probably thought the gap was simply uncrossable. Same as we did until just minutes ago. Maybe we should rethink this. Hey! Uh, are you alright? Uh, huh. <sighs> I was... I was in a forest, and then... <sighs> Look 
anything for this? Yep, she's human, all right. Yeah. Glad you're okay. I'm sorry to have troubled you. And you are? Your name? Uh, oh. Right. My name. I'm Saray. Saray? Yep, nice to meet you. Well met. Is there anywhere one could rest around here? I'll need to make plans to get back to the capital. You're from the city? Well... Um... Hmm. Why don't you come to where I live? Saray, are you nuts? Are you sure that wouldn't be a problem? You barely know me. I can't just abandon someone in need. That's all. Haven't you noticed that she won't even volunteer her name? It's only natural to be cautious. Aren't you going to ask my name? Are you sure? Everyone has their reasons, but you don't look like a bad person to me. I cannot possibly thank you enough, Saray. <sighs> Gramps is gonna let us have it when we get back. I know. Yes? Nah, don't worry about it. Anyway, that's the way out. Let's get moving. to remind you, but keep your eyes on the girl. Okay. But too bad we didn't meet in better circumstances. <sighs> you really don't have a skeptical bone in your body. Ah, we made it back in one piece. Wow. It's beautiful. Like a shrine out of myth. I half expect to see Seraphim wandering around. You really do call them Seraphim. Is that funny to you? Nope. Things which cannot be seen or explained, such as gods, spirits, or supernatural phenomena, are revered by the people as Seraphim. Right? A quote from the Celestial Record? Bingo. You've read it too? Yep. Wait, you as well? I used to read it all the time when I was a kid. It's a little ways from here to my village. Let's get moving. Okay. monolith written in ancient tongue.
So, uh, is the Celestial Record a children's book? Hmm? Well, I mean, you said you read it when you were a kid. Plenty of adults read it, too. I was probably just mature for my age. Oh, yeah? Huh. Well, figures. I mean, it is an amazing book. Yes. Well, it looks like someone's enjoying himself. This is my village, Alicia. So it's not Camlon, but Alicia, then. Then the rumors were false after all. W what are those creatures? What do you mean, creatures? They're goats. Goats? Are they usually this big? Such robust horns. Just like the dragons of legend. <laughs> what, like in fairy tales? Or something else. Don't go near it! There's no telling how dangerous untamed beasts like those are. Ah, don't worry. We're friends. Oh, well, mostly. They did kick me four or five times when I was little. Your friends? Yep. Sometimes they give me milk, and I make cheese and yogurt with everyone. The mark of true friendship. Yeah, it's the best. I don't think we've checked that monolith out yet. I'll go report this to Gramps. Guess we can't keep quiet about all this. Coming by afterwards? Yeah. Hey everyone! Got someone to introduce to you. This is my family, living here at the Shrine. Is this, uh, some kind of performance piece? No, uh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. You're an odd duck, you know that? I guess. That's my house. You go ahead and rest. I've got something to take care of. May I have a look around the village? Well, sure, but don't cause trouble. Of course not. I'll behave as if I were in a shrine to the Seraphim. Yeah, exactly. I'll try not to make any waves. <laughs> oh man, I sure hope Miklio's chat with Gramps went over well.
What's that? Oh, hey. There's no baby Elisa larks in the nest anymore. I remember when one of them fell from the nest. I was going to keep it and raise it, but Gramps wouldn't let me. A kept bird will never learn to fly, he said. Put it back. Guess you made it out of the nest on your own, huh? And I'll let you hear the rest from Soray himself. I reckon I'll have to. You idiots! Hi, Gramps. I'm back. How could you bring a human into our domain? Easy, Gramps. Didn't you say you'd listen to Soray's side of the story, too? That's just what I'm about to do. You know full well the rules, Soray. How could you break them like this? I'm sorry, Gramps, but I couldn't just leave her there. Her kind is sure to bring nothing but trouble to our domain. But I'm her kind too, you know. You were raised along with our kind, which nurtured in you the ability to perceive us and converse with us. Normal humans have no such capacity. You should understand that more than anyone else. Well, it is true. She doesn't appear to have any resonance. But Gramps, this is the first time Soray's ever met a fellow human. Perhaps. But if she can't see or hear the same things we do, she has no business in this realm. Ah. Uh. I have raised both of you as my own since you were but babes. All the while, doing my best to protect this land. And for that, I am grateful. And I did that because the time draws near when you will both serve to protect this shrine, just as all the others have done. Our priority is the peace of Elysia. Any intruders, no matter how harmless, must be cast out. Yes. Then it's time she left. Can we at least give her time to prepare for her departure? Hmm. Just make it quick. Thank you. Gramps. I know, I know, McLeo. He means well, in all things. And that's the very reason why I'm so worried for him.
Hey, wow! Is this crest what I think it is? Yep, this is the mark of the shepherd. I knew it! The chosen one who communicates with the seraphim, controlling their incredible powers as if they were his own. The shepherd! <laughs> Sound like your kind of thing? Maybe. I always thought that Mankind's Savior would actually look a bit more imposing. Be silent, Seraph Beast! I shall not. Hmm. <laughs> Excavated relics aren't play toys. True. She certainly is taking her time. I'll see what's up. Enjoy yourself? I sure did. But it's weird. I felt like I was being watched the whole time. Uh, uh. Shall we eat? I'm sorry. I feel like I'm going to faint. Let's head to my place. Gosh, I hope we didn't worry him. Hmm? Oh, uh, nothing. Welcome in. Hey! Hm? So then, what's your hometown like? Well, I'm from the capital, Lady Lake, in the Kingdom of Highland. Lady Lake? Like in the Legend of the Sacred Blade? You've heard of it? It was in the Celestial Record! The legend says the Lady of the Lake guards the Sacred Blade, and the one who draws it becomes the Shepherd, right? Yes. It was a lively and bustling town, blessed with bountiful water, rich in festivals and fine drink. Wait, was? Well, it used to be. Things must be hard for folks in the world below. Below? The land that lies beneath the mountaintops. I've never left home before. You've always lived here by yourself? Sounds to me like you're the one who's had it rough. <laughs> oh, let me help you get ready for your return trip tomorrow. You need anything? Bread, rations, stuff like that? That'd be great. If you have any tools or a sleeping bag, it'd be great, too. Gotcha. Well then, first we'll need to do some hunting. I'll be your guide tomorrow. Thank you so much for everything. Good morning. Good morning. Come on! Hurry it up, Mikleo! We ain't got time to mess around! Yeah, I'll leave in a moment. <sighs> Gramps gave me all kinds of things to take care of. I'm gonna be pretty swamped for a while. Bummer. Well, don't you worry about me, at least. So, Ray, Gramps only wants... Yeah, I know. Miklio! Maybe later. Sure. Good morning. You sleep okay? Yeah, like a log. Been ages since I've done that. All right then, shall we? The prickle boars lurk to the left of the entry gate. It's an ideal hunting place. Got it.
a prickle boar. So that's one, huh? Their meat is easy to preserve when smoked and super tasty. And the skin has all kinds of uses, too. I almost feel sorry for it. Want to leave? No, my spirit is prepared. Besides, I can't get this sort of experience back home. Okay. Here we go! Yeah! Ready? Strike! It's over! Hey, pretty smooth move. Thank you. You're rather capable yourself. Okay! Guess we need a few more. I don't see any around. You'll find them if you look. Is that a monolith? Hunted enough? So, now what shall we do? Don't worry. I'll teach you how to make jerky and bags and sleeping gear out of it. I am truly in your debt, Saray. Let's head home for the day.
far is it to Lady Lake? Let's see. I expect about two or three days. Really? I had no idea it was so close. But the forest at the base of the mountain is surprisingly easy to get lost in. Must be the power of Gramps' domain. <laughs>